Okay, now for question two, part B from C34, January 2019. Okay, so we found uh, the expansion of this, okay, and as you see from the last page, you have A plus B over X plus 1 plus C over X minus 3. So you have A plus B over X plus 1 plus C over X minus 3. So that will give us basically that we have this will be A was 8, A was 3, sorry, B was 2, 2 over X plus 1, and plus C, which is 8 over X minus 3. And they're asking us to find the series expansion of this fraction, which we've now split up into separate terms, um, given that the modulus of X is less than 1, okay, in ascending powers of X, means from starting from the lowest to the highest, up to and including up to and including the determinant x squared. Give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. So let's I'm gonna take two over x plus one as a separate thing, and I'm gonna write it as two times, and I'll write this the other way around, one plus x to the power of minus one. Okay, so that's two times one plus x to the power of minus one, and the x the eight over x minus three, I'm gonna write it as eight times minus 3 plus x to the power of minus 1. Okay, and uh, I'll explain to you why I'm doing that. Okay, because... One second, let me just move that along here. Because, let's just show, we're writing 8 over x minus 3 in this form. So I've just written as 8 times, instead of x minus 1, but minus 3 plus x to the power of minus 1. Now, we know or well, we should know that the there's a equation expansion 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 okay times x squared over 2 factorial and it continues we only have to go that far that continues on and that's the expansion okay as long as stick together as long as you're expanding something that's in the form 1 plus x to the power of n. All right, so there must be a 1 in this position here. There must be a 1 in this position. If there's not a 1, we have to make sure it's a 1. So for the first um, part here, we got a 1 here, so that's fine. So I'm just going to take this part of it. I'm just take 1 plus x to the power of minus 1, and I'm going to apply this formula, this formula to it. So we start off with 1 plus n, which is the power. So I'm going to put time plus 1 times um, okay, so minus 1 times the term here, which is just x, okay, plus n, which is minus 1, times n minus 1, so you've got to take 1 away from this, it gives you minus 2, okay, over 2 factorial, which means 2 times 1, which is 2, times all of this, this x, it has to be squared, okay, whatever's in here must be squared, okay, so that will give us, let's move this down a bit, Okay, so that will give us, that will be 1 minus x, that minus and that minus is going to become plus, and the 2's will cancel out, so you're left with plus x squared. Okay, that's as far as we need to go, okay, but of course that's not, that's not the end of it, that's just, that's just this part of it here, okay, so um, we're going to have to multiply that by 2 and then add 3 to it and then add it to whatever this comes here. So now I'm going to take the minus 3 plus x to the minus 1 part. So I'm going to take minus 3 plus x to the power of minus 1. And I'm going to rewrite it so it's in the form that we don't want, which is 1 plus x to the power of n. So I've got to take out, okay, from this bracket. So if you just bear with me, see what I'm doing. I'm taking out a minus 3 from this, I have it has to be plus one, so I'm taking out minus three from there. If I do minus three times one, I'm going to get minus three, but I must also take it out from this term. So I'm going to have to ha have minus x divided by three. Okay, why? Because minus times minus is plus, and three times x over three gives you x. Okay, and that's all to the power of minus one. Okay, so you've basically got minus three to the power of minus one. Okay, all of that to the power of minus 1, times 1 minus x over 3 to the power of minus 1. 
Okay, now this first part is going to give me minus one third because the minus one on the outside just tells us to write down the reciprocal of what's in here. So you have minus one third times one minus x over three to the power of minus one. Now we're ready to use this formula to expand it. So I've got now, I'm only going to take the one and minus x over three part of it. And the rest of it I'll do with afterwards. Just this part of it. So I'm leaving out the minus one third for now. Okay, so I have one plus nx. So one plus n, which is minus one. This time x is minus x over three. So this whole x term. That's the x part in the formula here. Plus, and I'm gonna have minus one times minus two again. Okay, over two factorial, which is two times one, which is two. Okay, times this, whatever term's in here, which is minus x over three, and that has to be now written as its square. Okay, now, let's keep going. So now, let's just, okay, take this down a bit. So we have now, the expansion of this is going to be given by 1. Now you have minus times minus is plus. You're going to have x over 3. And here you're going to have minus times minus is plus. And 2 cancels with the 2. Minus squared is plus. So I, this is a 3, by the way. Okay, plus. And I'm going to have um, minus x squared is plus x squared over 9. Square root of 3 is 9. So there, there I have the second part of the expansion. So let's now go back to see what we had originally. We had 3 plus 2 times 1 plus x to the power of minus 1. So we start off with 3 plus 2 times. And we had 1 plus x to the power of minus 1. Okay. That's what we had there. Okay. And we had plus 8 times x minus 3. And that was to the power of minus one. Okay, that's how we started off. So now, you got three plus two times our answer of this part, which is one minus x plus x squared. Two times one minus x plus x squared. Okay, two times that, one minus x plus x squared. And then we're going to have plus 8 times what comes here, okay? Plus 8 times. Now, we also have this minus 1 third, remember? We have a minus 1 third times there. So it's 8 times a minus 1 third. Be careful about not missing that out. Okay, and then we have this expansion, which is 1 plus x over 3 plus x squared over 9. Okay, so all of this has to be now simplified. So let me just take this across to the other page. Okay, and finish off the question. Make that a bit smaller. Okay, I've just copied it across so I have to rewrite it again. So when I expand and simplify this, I should get the answer. So I've got 3 plus 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 2, and plus 2x squared. You have to be very careful here. This is like minus 8 over 3. So you're going to have minus 8 over 3 here, when you multiply that bracket. You're going to have minus times minus, plus is minus. You're going to have 8x over 9. Okay, when I multiply those, 8x over 9, and then I'm going to have a minus 8x squared over 27. Okay, so we have 3 plus 2 minus, um, okay, let's just simplify that. That's a minus 2x there. That's a bit silly. So you have 5. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry. So you have 5, and you're going to have minus 2x, oh, sorry, 
You look for all the constants. Sorry about this. <clears throat> 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 minus 8 over 3. So I'll, I'll just write it like this now. 5 minus 8 over 3 is the, are the constant terms, which I'm going to simplify in a minute. The x terms are minus 2x and minus 8x over 9. Okay. And the x squared terms are plus 2x squared and minus 8x squared over 27. So if I want to add these two together, I've got to make the denominators the same into uh, 3. So that's going to be 15 over 3 minus 8 over 3, which is going to be 7 over 3. Then I'm going to make these denominators the same. So I've got uh, minus, and this is going to be a 9, and that will be 18x over 9 minus 8x over 9, which gives you minus 26x over 9. All right, and then you have plus, and this is going to be over 27. So this is 54x squared minus 8x squared over 27. Now 54 minus 8 is going to be 46. So you'll have plus 46x squared over 27. And there we have our answer to the expansion, hopefully. Okay, and that's the end of that question. What does it say here? Um, as a simplified fraction. Okay, so each coefficient should be given a simplified fraction. And I think they are simplified. Nothing, no number goes into any of those. 46, that's right. 54 minus 8 is 4, and then another 4. Yes, 46. And minus 18 minus 8, 26, and 5. 50. Yeah. Okay, so there we have our answer. Thank you for watching.